So for today, we're going to be looking at the Warlocks playlist armor, the Oswari set, and I think it looks cool as I actually do think this is the best set from the whole classes. Now that I've actually been utilizing it in different sets, I just think it's way better than the Hunters and Titans just because it flows better with the Warlock pieces. But you guys will see what I mean when we look into the actual armor set. But let me know what you guys think. If you guys want to check out the review for the armor, it's right here. You guys can check it out. We go through how it looks, how it shaders, my personal thoughts, and overall a pretty good video in my opinion. We also go through the shadering of all of the pieces for all of the classes. So if you guys are interested to see what shaders would look good, I have all of the shaders that I currently own and I go through all of them for all the classes. So definitely check that out. And then Hunters and Titans, you both have your videos right here. I've already done them. I think a lot of these sets are really, really cool. And you guys should definitely check it out because I like Hunters have at least two that are bangers and Hunter, or Titans have at least like two or three that are bangers. So definitely check them out. Warlocks, you guys got some pretty good ones as well. So for the first one, we're going to be looking at the helmet. And this one I think looks cool as hell. So for the arms, Apilos following gloves, the corrupting echo robes, for the chest piece, for the boots, boots of the Taken King. And then for the mark, we're actually going to be using the ancestral bond with the chin sake combination. So that way I don't have a bond. I don't want a bond in this one. So the shading is pretty cool for the helmet. Amrita's dream is what we're using because the flowers of IO turned the whole helmet yellow and I didn't want that. And then flowers of IO. So that way I can get that bone color that's in the helmet as well. Granted, it's not a one to one, but it's so damn close that most people are not going to really care about it. And then the chin and slate, so obviously, so I can turn off the bond. So I think this one came out really good. Again, my only gripe is the fact that Boots of the Taken King are not going to turn off that glow completely, or at least Fl Flowers of Isle won't turn it off completely. And that's like my biggest gripe about, about the Taken King set is just the glow is just so unneeded. Give us a toggle that way we can turn the glow off or not, on or off. That would be great. But just a toggle in general would be great for a lot of things. But other than that, I think this is a banger, definitely worth trying out, but I do think the next one is way better. So for the next one, I'm going for a Ahamkara Hunter vibe. And this one, we're going to be using the Thunderhead cover. I think this head helmet is so cool. Combining it with the Oswari arms and chest piece. I think obviously both of these go well together. They're from the same set, but it's more so to have the bones on the right side be really heavy on that on that side. And then the boots were using veil tithe boots. I definitely think I could use a better boots or I could use better boots than this one. But I was like, I kind of want to just finish this and I definitely like it, but I definitely think you could use some better tactical boots for this. If anything, you could probably just put on rain of fire for these. And then I think that would be pretty cool. That, be, that being said, rain of fire are pretty small. So just be aware of that because the chest piece, I think is pretty bulky compared to other warlock pieces. And then for the bond iron foreigner bond, because I want some more horns. That being said, I should have definitely shadered or find some shaders that go better with it to at least match somewhat to the bone color of it. But overall, I really like how this set came out. I like where my head is going. And again, this has no exotic. And you guys will notice that from going forward that a lot of or at least if I remember correctly, a lot of my pieces don't use exotics just because I want people to throw in their own exotics in there because that's like the best way to do it for some uh, for some people. As for the next set, we're going to be using Skull of Dire Hamkara with the Hateful Wish ornament. And the last two actually do have exotics. I'm probably thinking about the other armor, the uh, Hex Raw armor. That one, I don't use a lot of exotics just because that armor was rough enough, like rough to begin with. So that's why I was like, fuck exotics. I'm just going to do armor. So for this one, we're going to be using the arms again, but in combination with the boots for the Osweary sets and then the Lycan robes for this one and then the Crota bond from obviously the Crota's uh, raid. So I think the set look like looks genuinely cool. My only thing is maybe the the chess piece is like out of place. Maybe that's like the biggest gripe I have about it. But at that at the same time, I still think it looks cool. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I definitely love that the hateful wish, the arms boots and then the actual bond all kind of look look close together enough for me to be like that's fine i know the boots look darker but that's more of the, the shadow than anything else because when you look at the arms it actually almost damn looks one to one with everything else so i do like the combinations that i went with and nougat delight was what i went with because i like that shader and overall i really think this is a like a good set my only gripe is we're using skull of dire Amkara, which that that exotic is trash so no one's going to be using that uh, but I like fashion wise, I think this looks amazing. 
And then last but not least, we're going to be using the bond. And this is so weird for me to say because I never, almost never, like super rarely do I ever make a set for just the bond. And this one, the whole reason I'm doing it is because it goes so well with my cowboy look for my warlock. And uh, most of you probably haven't seen my cowboy look for my warlock yet. Or if you guys haven't seen my cowboy, what is it? My Spire of the Watcher armor set review i have it right now shaders as well or no that's before i started to do the shaders and i also have individual sets i can't put them all in one video because i don't they don't give me enough links but i have also made those videos as well but this one is one of the ones that i made and i think it looks amazing for the helmet the tm moss custom hat is what we're using the coiled lasso ornament for the ophidian aspect is what we're going to be using because it looks amazing the wrath trail robes and the hold fast boots is what we're using i would actually just tell you wrath trail robes and boots just go just put them together because i think the, those boots are just way more cowboy -y. but the hold fast boots is really cool as well and then the ossuary bond for the shader kind of coat is what we're using just because i think the browns and the blacks look really good and very cowboy -y. but overall like I, I fuck with this set so hard the other one like the bond that i was using before was just ropes but this one looks way better because it's actually like a pocket that you could use and that's definitely something a cowboy would use so let me know what you guys think i definitely think the warlocks have some really dope sets but if i'm being honest the hunters a lot of those sets that i made are just super super cool so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys coming up to this point i really do other than that be safe and i will see you guys later